What is up, people? I am back and bringing you some Warwick Jungle, and I know how much you love Warwick Jungle. Because, uh, you know, I'm a Warwick main, and I love it, so you guys must love it. That's what I'm saying. So let's go. And I'm using the Hyena Warwick skin, pop, pop, just right now only, just because it changes some of the animations. Well, only changes one. But the one animation changes is like... That's worth it. That's worth a whole new skin. Just, just, <laughs> just because of that. It's like the NASA's dance on the original skin. And um, here's a hint for you guys. Whenever you make a team comp against Warwick. Make it so your team has stuns, knockups or something. Um, just because... Their team has stuns and knockups, but they're very situational. <laughs> like, they can't just point click at me and make it so I can't get on their Lucian. I mean, I guess Bard could, but he'd have to land a skill shot, and there'd have to be something behind me. Let's see. Um, Yasuo can knock me up, but he has to have two stacks on his Q first. A Mumu can stun me. He'd have to either land his bandage or his um ult on me while I'm ulted, which I'm probably just gonna wait for him to ult anyway. And um, Riven can do both, but I'm really not gonna be near Riven because she's gonna be trying to get in the back line, and I'm gonna be in the back line. Actually, both these people are gonna be trying to get in the back line. So. Yeah, I'm going to be in their back line, and the only thing, actually, he's going to be trying to get in the back line, too. So the only one that's really going to be peeling for him is Bard, and, oh, oh, shiver down my spine, huh. And I can get past Bard easily. So, depending on how this game goes, this might be a very easy Warwick game. It's because they will have no late game damage since their ADC is going to be gone. And pretty much in League, your top and mid lane are supposed to dominate the mid game. Like, early game, it's supposed to be um, jungler making the plays for the, um, for the lanes. Then mid game, it's supposed to be, let's see, it's supposed to be like mid laners and top laners, they're doing all the damage. Support's just supposed to build utility so that the team can um, survive the mid and late game. While... Let's see, um, well, the junglers during the mid lane is just objective based. Junglers are supposed to be the ones helping you secure the objectives during that time. And, let's go. In late game, it's supposed to be all about the ADC. It's supposed to be all about the ADC. If the ADC is really good, they will carry the late, late game because most ADCs are pretty much item dependent. Holy crap. Get some camping bot lane. <laughs> Come on. Shen, no. <laughs> but yeah, Shen's really good against Riven. But yeah, it's... Oh crap. That was a great gank move. But yeah, late game, a, new, a Mumu might be annoying because he can set up for Yasuo. And Riven might be annoying because he can set up for Yasuo, but that's about it. They don't really have a Yasuo comp. <laughs> uh, per se. I mean, I can see how this comp can really favor towards Yasuo. 
I mean, Lucian can ult whoever he asks ulting, and that's a pretty big fight, so we just can't fight in the jungle of this game. I should tell my uh, team that. We. You know his ult's up, you know his knock up is up. And you could you can see whenever he gas his knock up is up. Because you know he has that wind going around him that looks kinda like a tornado. You can see when that's a f when that's up. But so why would you go in on that? Especially knowing that you can't land your charm at that time. If she could land her charm, then she could get out of it. It's easy. But if you can't land your charm, it's like why are you even doing this? And I'm going back to Gromp so I can get level 6, and I'm going to back get my um, items. Well, actually, 2100 for Devour, right? Yeah. So, since I grabbed 3 health pots, 3 health pots are just in case I get invaded or something. So I can sustain and run away. Before I'm level 6. After level 6, I just keep them around just in case, you know, I, I get a good gank off, but, you know, it's... I don't know which way I should go. Possibly this way? Let's see. Let's see if I can do this. I'm like right here. Job, Shen. And Shen's really powerful against, you know. If she doesn't answer, I'm just gonna take it because that'll. Come on. Come on, I'm holding it here for you. Okay, here she comes. I just had to ping it. She wasn't paying attention to chat. Come on. Okay, the team likes pinging, which is nice. No one's gonna really complain. Oh no, you didn't ping that your lane was missing. Why didn't you do that? Yada yada, blah blah blah. I hate when people do that. It's called looking at your map. I mean, just glancing at the map. I can see Yasuo is missing. I can see a Mumu's not on the map. And then I can see a couple of champs are bot lane. I mean, because both of the summer and icons were overlapping, so I could see that both of them were there. He landed the taunt. Yeah, she might be dead. Ah, oh, you didn't charm her. I'm going mid lane. I'm gonna make it so the lane's pushing a little bit. Oh, crap. Dang it. 
Yes, it will fall out his lane almost perfectly. Now they know I'm here, though. Eh, it's alright. Got a kill, so it's kind of worth it. Jinx is starting to snowball. After you get Jinx like one or two kills, you don't really have to camp her lane anymore. Because when Jinx gets on a roll, and she, with that base attack speed that just comes from her Q, and, um, yeah, her base attack speed that comes from her Q, and the attack damage that comes from her Q, after she gets a couple levels in that, she can snowball easy. And, yeah, now that we have her, well, kind of being kind of fed already, she's 2-1-1. One, and, one. and Velkaz can also snowball out of control since it's true damage with the stacking abilities. All he needs to do is, you know, land him. Which sucks that Velkaz is mostly skill shots. I mean, he does have that ult. I guess can be counted as a skill shot, but it can also not be counted as a skill shot. Oh, I thought they took my red. And I am lagging. Holy crap. What the heck? Why am I spiking so high? Go on, go back down. Go back down, please. There it is. Nice. I have 20 seconds on my ult. Riven is right there. Do -do -do. They aren't doing dragons, so I have time to just... Since Bard went to go actually check dragon, that really did screw me over for a second. Four, three, two, one. Okay. So I have ult. Here, let me get a little bit closer in so it doesn't attack him. Because I can sustain this thing. And you see what I'm talking about is Jinx can... I don't care. I'll go top lane. I'll be the top laner for a second. And yep, the closer you get Jinx to a late game to build, the better your game's gonna be. So honestly, you could win a game just by camping a Jinx lane. No lie. You could do it. It would be the easiest game, too. Because Jinx is just an auto attack based champion, so if you can lock someone down and let her get a couple autos off, proc her passive, you know, faster. Guess I'm holding top for a little bit. I'm okay with that. I can kill this Riven 1v1. It's okay, Jinx. It's okay. We could fight this! Why not? They are underfed like a mother. Let's go. Let's go! Ah. Now we just have to bait out this guy. Honestly, there it is. Now he's dead. 
Amumu's dead. Oh my gosh! Freaking target the one that's not running away! You guys are idiots! <laughs> ah, man. <laughs> that's just common sense. If you know you have someone that can get away easily, and then the one person that's not trying to get away because he knows he's dead. Target the one that knows he's dead. <laughs> Keep your jungler alive. Need my stacks? No. That'd be so mean. That would be so mean. Ah, no stacks for me. Here's one, two, and five, actually. I'd rather have Ari with low cooldowns right now, honestly, <laughs> than Velkaz. I mean, I know Velkaz is weird. Like, if he snowballs, he can be annoying with his ult. But I'd rather have Ari just because she needs the escapes. <laughs> honestly, and plus, it's partly because I don't need the. Good job. So, are we gonna go kill this loot? I don't know where he's at. There he is. Okay, the red buff is not here. Oh, no. That is the most bullcrap. The thing about Warwick is you can leave his E on all game and it really doesn't impact your gameplay. Sure the enemies might know you're coming. But you can actually turn that off when you're um if you're going far enough ahead so that you can invade and if you know your uh, um the other jungler doesn't have as much sustain. Like actually not a lot of junglers have as much sustain as Warwick, but um, not as much sustain, so they can't um, sustain in the jungle by themselves like a lot. You can actually turn off his E and invade, and it's way too effective. I'm gonna solo this. I'm going for the stacks. But Shen's coming, and I don't know the timer on this thing because it's about to go up. Yeah. Two Rift Heralds, one game. You take it. I don't care. I don't need it. Now I'm sated. In case they check, I'm sated after Scuttle. <laughs> okay, 13.50. Wits End is completed, and now my core items are complete. Really, just Devour and Wits End are core for Jungle Warwick. Top lane Warwick is a completely different story. You do have the super minions there just hitting him. So, good fight, good fight. This Amumu is building sustain on his E, isn't he? Wait. Kill this Mumu. Huh? Uh, town get it. Are we going for it? Um, 
but yeah. I had to really make sure that my team was going for that, or else I could have died. I could have died very easily right there. So, I had to just make sure that my team was going. Oh my gosh, Shen has Thorn Mail first buy. Oh, that's why this Riven's been having a hard time. <laughs> he taunted her, Thorn Mail, just boom. Okay, now I am... I don't know what what else I should build, like, next. Because, I mean, this game is starting to tilt way into our favor, Jinx is fed. Which means that no one can really stand against her right now. I mean, she could kite the crap out of them and they'd just die. I'm actually going to build this for the more sustain. Just because I'm that far ahead that it doesn't really matter what I build right now. Well, it does kind of matter what I build. I can't just throw the game. Like, building a GA right now would be horrible. Building a ZZ Rot Portal. Even though I've been building a lot of those lately. Like, I've been building them on everyone except Warwick. <laughs> just because, you know, a little more tanky never hurt anybody. We have that worded. That's the only reason I'm so far ahead. I see him. I see him. I'm just going to take this real fast. So mean. Guess I have to. Don't worry, don't worry. I got this. I got this. Ain't I a stinker? Ooh, I survived. <laughs> I got this. All I need to do is Q first, so that the dragon doesn't actually burst me. That's why I like Shen. People forget he exists. <laughs> if you have a Shen on your team, people will forget he's even in the game when they start fights. So mid to late game, Shen's ult is the game changer. If you, um... So say that you're fighting and it's a 3v1 like it just was. All you have to do is run back, Shen will see you're in danger and he'll just ult you and everything will be fine. Why do I have that there? Here we go. Come here. Come here. No. Three, two. I'm going to go one shot, Lucian. I've done it before to Illusion, I just wonder if I'm strong enough right now. Where's he at? Is he at? There he is. There he is. There he is. There he is. And I don't care if you're under the tower, man. <laughs> oh, wow, that's messed up. If I would have smited him before, I didn't even have to auto attack him afterwards. Oh, I can one shot Lucian. I've done it before, that's the only reason why I knew I could even, you know, attempt that. If, like, the lower health ADCs are the easiest to just go in and one shot. Come here. Cue me, I dare you. <sighs> okay. How long is my blue buff up for? Okay, so if I... 10, 1, and 5, dude. <laughs> That's just horrible for the enemy team. No, circle. I mean, not circle. Oh. <laughs> I'm on my way. Crap. I'm honestly at that point where as long as I have my ult, anyone's gonna die. Where you going? Where? Come, hey, hey, come back here, come back here, Missy. You're not supposed to be out this late. 
<laughs> Honestly, the best thing that Riven can do is group up with her team. What the heck is Bard doing? There he is. You stay there. You stay there. No, Sean. Yeah. Oh, wow. But, yeah. It's honestly the easiest thing. I'm just asking for help right now because I don't really want to do it without blue buff. And she's taking it, so. Mm, Jinx hurts right now. Holy crap. And she went rapid fire cannon. Yeah. <laughs> it sucks. Her Q is just gonna wreck people. You die. You go to hell and you die. Okay. We don't really need Baron, actually. I just want it so that this game could be over sooner. But, uh, okay, who are we diving? Well, okay. We can fight it. That's the only reason why I'm saying let's do it, because we can fight that so easily. Bad idea. Do it. We have it warded, it's easy. I hate when people are so cautious about Baron, especially when we're this far ahead. If we threw at that Baron, that would have been the hardest throw ever. That would have mean that would have meant that I didn't get my ult off. Shen didn't shield, didn't taunt anyone. Let's see. Ari didn't land one skill shot. Jinx didn't auto attack. And Velkaz didn't even try. Yeah. I'm just finishing up this game, you know. Making a commentary, that's it. Just dive this boy. Come here. Oh no! <laughs> Reels. It took three ults to take me out under that tower. That is so mean. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I'm just gonna go do Dirt Dragon. Cause maybe if I had that 5% movement speed, I would've survived. <laughs> okay, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1... Yeah, why Bard? <laughs> Bard... That happens when he plays against champs that outrange him. It's just... Lonely well, we should've built. No, Lumi should have built like Thornmail and HP. He just should have went full tank. Well, I kind of did, but just Thornmail into something like I don't know. Banshee's Velox actually pretty nice on him. He could 
dodge and ability. Let me get that assist. I'm just gonna go down here and do this. No, screw it. Thanks for making the turret not target me anymore, Bard. Piece of crap. No one likes you. No, no, no! Ah, I wanted to be dancing, then the minion spawned. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I know it says bronze, but this is pretty much a mixture of everything. It's literally a mixture of anything. Of like everything. There's plat here, there's gold, silver, and bronze. So all of us are just put in one spot and it's see who could climb and see who can't. But hopefully you guys enjoyed that and peace. What's up, people? I'm not going to force you to, but like, favorite, subscribe if you want to. But remember, if you don't, I'm gonna fuck all y'all bitches.